was embroiled in endless battles, an era of warring states. The one village per country system didn't exist then. Ninja organizations were militia groups, divided by clan. In this world of constant strife, power was everything. The Uchiha clan was known all over the world as a warrior clan, with remarkable chakra and the Sharingan. And then there was the Senju clan of the forest, said to rival the Uchiha clan in strength. Their leader, Hashirama Senju, was the most powerful ninja of his time. Time and time again, the Uchiha and the Senju clans battled one another. However... This endless fighting threatened to destroy both their clans. Members of both sides who believed it would... banded together... and created a new organization. It was later known as the village hidden in the hills. Uchiha and Senju were always like oil and water, unable to work together. To Madara, this was obvious, but he was betrayed by the others and left the village. And then, Madara became an avenger and challenged the hidden leaf to battle. clashed in a battle to the death, one so world-shattering that it left the Earth itself scarred. And then, 
Mantra. I had lost to Asurama. Madara Uchiha had been defeated, but the fight is far from over. I had no choice but to spark a new battle. It had been Madara Uchiha's plan. Beneath the banner of the Akatsuki, the wicked ninja gathered. The goal of the Akatsuki was to capture the tailed beasts and their incredible chakra. One by one, they set out on their hunt to return with the spoils of battle. One, Daedara, who fights with detonating clay. His target is Gara of the Sand, Jinchuriki of the one-tailed Shukaku. Beyond the distant storms, an assault on the village of the Hidden Sand begins. Wielding his arts, Daedara challenges the Kazekage. So you're the Kazekage, Gara. I'm responsible for protecting this village. Don't imagine that you'll get away with this. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be fun, hmm? Let the battle begin! Okay, Kaze Kage, now I'm gonna take you someplace fun. Daedara's detonating clay rattled the Kaze Kage. In the end, he was successful in capturing the One Tail. However, this incident soon brought forth the ninja of the Hidden Leaf, allies of the Sand Village. It was Sasori of the Red Sand who confronted them. His challengers were the Leaf Kunoichi Sakura Haruno and Sasori's own grandmother, Shio. Regret, resignation, and emptiness. As apprehension welled in their breasts, 
Sasori drew forth a scroll. Rejoice, you unworthy dogs, for you shall meet your end at the hand of the third Kazekage. No way! Sakura, stay calm. I'm here. Do at least try to entertain me. Let the battle begin! Time to attack! <laughs> Sakura and Chio were hard-pressed by Sasori's astounding prowess. The bitter fighting ended, however, with Sasori's defeat. For in the depths of Sasori's heart, a last vestige of feeling still remained. It was this emotion which led to the moment of weakness that brought him defeat. The Akatsuki's next move was to send Hidan and Kakuzu with their unique powers to the Hidden Leaf Village, where the Nine Tails Jinchuriki Naruto Uzumaki awaited. These two immortals were able to enter the village despite all the Hidden Leaf's resistance. But waiting to greet them, along with his friends, was the strongest ninja of the Hidden Leaf, Kakashi Hatake. Eager to avenge his master, and with a glint of rage in his eyes, Shikamaru Nara challenged Hidan. And Hidan raised his voice in joy, ecstatic at the new sacrifice presenting itself before him. Curses like chickens always come home to roost. You defeated my master. Can't just let you go on living, running around free. Lord Jashin, hear me. In the blink of an eye, this fool shall be no more! Let 
the battle begin! What? Here I come! Shadow Pull Jutsu! That That's your grave! Darn it! Uh, Shadow Pull Jutsu! That's your grave! No. Guess I'll use that. You curse Jutsu! Death possession blood! <laughs> Fast break! Wasn't it? Hidan was clearly the more powerful. His arrogance, however, led to carelessness and weakness. A weakness that did not escape Shikamaru. Hidan was defeated and buried beneath the earth. Kakuzu, meanwhile, was using his superior battle experience to push Kakashi, little by little, into a corner. The situation, however, changed suddenly. From out of nowhere, the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, Naruto Uzumaki, joined the fray, standing in Kakuzu's way. So, you're the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. I'm gonna finish this with my new jutsu! You've done us a favor by coming here. It saves us the trouble of finding you. Let the battle begin! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
No matter how powerful your jutsu, it can't beat my experience. The difference in experience between the two was overwhelming. Kakuzu's target seemed ready to fall. But in the end, Naruto was able to rally his strength and defeat Kakuzu, despite all of the latter's experience. From old roots, new buds had blossomed. The winds of history promised change. Change which could be seen even in places far removed from the hidden leaf. The Uchiha hideout, where Itachi and Sasuke Uchiha confronted each other. Brother against brother, blood against blood, a stain upon the Uchiha name. Their battle was about to begin. My nightmare, it ends. Finally, here, today. Itachi, it's time I buried you. Even with those eyes of yours, you see nothing. Nothing at all. Let the battle begin! <laughs> This is the end, Sasuke. With their very lives in the balance, the two fought. Itachi's skill far exceeded Sasuke's. But still, Sasuke fought on, and at last, Itachi bequeathed his final wishes to his brother. And then, he fell. Itachi's death and the truth about his brother shook Sasuke to his core. His troubled thoughts led to hatred, and Sasuke Uchiha chose to walk the path of darkness. Meanwhile, as Sasuke made his decision, Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sanin, infiltrated the Hidden Rain village to gather information on the Akatsuki. There he met Konan, his apprentice from long ago, now working in secret with the Akatsuki. I can't believe you could sink so low as to join the Akatsuki. I wouldn't expect you to understand us, Sensei. After all, you belong to the past. It does not matter who you are. If you oppose the Akatsuki, 
I will destroy you. Let the battle begin! Disappear. Shikigami dance. Shikigami dance. Shikigami down. Disappear. Shikigami dance. I fight for one goal, only one. It did not matter that Jiraiya had once been her teacher. Conan attacked relentlessly, showing no mercy. At last, the Six Paths of Pain appeared and attacked Jiraiya. And he collapsed in the rain. It was already too late to halt the ambitions of the Akatsuki. Having defeated Jiraiya, Pain and Conan advanced at once on the Hidden Leaf to capture Nine Tails. The attack was sudden. Pandemonium swept through the Hidden Leaf and the village fell quickly before Payne's might. All that remained in the hidden leaf were the wretched, sunk in despair, and the cold, bare earth. But there was one among them who still dared to turn his defiant wrath upon Payne. That one, of course, was Naruto Uzumaki, the inheritor of the Sage's strength. Naruto held an extraordinary spirit within him, but Pain did not fear him. Pain possessed the Rinnegan, most powerful of the visual jutsu. He fixed his gaze on his target, and the battle between the god and the sage began. He brought ruin to our village! I'll never forgive you! However much you bay and howl, the truth of the matter will not change. Before this awesome might, the weak can do no more than panic and die. Your end is near. Let the battle begin! No.
accept judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this calms you down a bit, Nine Tails. Pain held the upper hand in this fierce battle. With his divine power, even Payne's roar was devastating. It seemed the Ninetales' capture was inevitable. But Pain, Nagato, was touched by the conviction of peace in Naruto Uzumaki's heart. In order to save the Hidden Leaf, Pain sacrificed himself. Though the Akatsuki's plans were forced to change, their mission of capturing the Jinchuriki continued. Their next target was the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, Killer B. Akatsuki sent Kisame Hoshigaki, known as the Tailless Beast, to capture the Eight Tails. So you're the Eight Tails, Killer B. I'm gonna make you weak, you sharky creep! Let's see just how much entertainment you can provide. Let the battle begin! <laughs> I'm giving a push, yeah? I'm swinging like a killer bee! I'm giving a push, yeah? I'm swinging like a killer bee! Here I go! Take this! Let the battle begin! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that octopus chakra was rather tasty. Though victory in the battle with Killer B went to Kisame and his shark skin. Just as he was poised to capture the beast, the Raikage intervened, interrupting the mission. However, the ringleader, the puppet master behind it all, Madara Uchiha, remained as calm as ever. All had been accounted for. All was going according to plan. Madara Uchiha's plan remained unshaken. It has taken many sacrifices to get this far. I don't plan on becoming one of your sacrifices, thank you. <laughs> the fourth great ninja war will begin.